What's up guys? It is day one of our Super D adventure. We're heading to the track today. And we're matching our jackets. Yeah, uh, I wasn't gonna show that, but. You did it. I'm just gonna wear my burgundy one from now on. I think I actually had the sweatshirt first and then you copied me, you just say it. I had it on first. So Grange is the track that we're going to. It's a go-kart track and most of the times when we've driven tracks that are go-kart tracks, it's really fun because it's really tight and technical. I believe that's what this is going to be like. I've seen some videos of it. It looks very dusty, dirty, and aggressive. Plus, this time we brought our crazy cart so it's going to be extra fun. We didn't bring crazy carts. Truck. Number one selling point. I guarantee you people have bought this truck because it has not two. Not six, this won't fit a tall boy not like seven, not eight. Oh, Patrick's blocking the other ones. And there's some I'm the I'm new couple there, so I have <laughs> two more beds go in his lap. Two right there. Yeah. We'll go get one of those Starbucks trays and put it in his lap. <laughs> so we're lost. We can see the track over there, but it's... Oh, is that a way station? We're screwed, tell me. No, it's not a wait station, man. It's Area 51 checkpoint. <laughs> People were complaining about a dirt road. I was expecting it to be much worse. We're not there This yet. isn't a true. True. Imagine driving your stanced out like what car, drift car, down this road with like crazy arrow scraping and everything. And you're all excited for your car to look really nice for Super D. Yeah. And then it's dirty. <laughs> so this is what we're looking at. Just a big desert and then there's like a little racetrack up in here that we're trying to find. Can't tell on camera. Holy moly, can we make that? We I have don't to. Know. We don't we have, have a choice. To. Yeah. Okay, let me let's think about it. You're if fine. people with like three car wedges and stuff made it, oh boy, can, this is wild. This is crazy. That's a narrow track. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's not as dusty as I thought it'd be. Yeah, because it, it just started. It's just started. Oh, that looks fun. Wait till everyone starts dirt driving. You get a passenger, right? Yeah. Are you filming me vertically? Yeah, I don't know. Crazy thing about this, this isn't just a normal drift event. Super D is like all the craziest drivers with the craziest nice cars come out here and party in the middle of the desert. So in this barren desert, we're gonna see a lot of nice cars, I'm excited. There's lots of cool cars here and I am very, very excited that I was able to get invited to come out here and I don't wanna make myself look like a fool. So for that reason, I haven't really been walking around and filming all the cars and stuff. And I'm just gonna try to go get acclimated to the track, uh, drive a little bit, get a feel for the car, get a feel for the amount of grip film a couple little GoPro clips, and then uh, as I get to like meet people and get a little bit more um, involved with everyone, it should be a little bit less weird and awkward for me to film. I just don't want to make a fool of myself. All right, so we're about to go out. Should probably drive around for a little bit, just get a feel for the track. Well, that, so that like gets really tight. Looks sick. Bars for me, I can't really see them. Good amount of grip. I'm trying not to clutch kick too much to save the. In the 12s, like 12.7. Okay, that's good. 11 to 13, but maybe like That's good. When I'm full throttle, we just don't want it like over 13. No, it was like 12. Perfect. Like 12. That's safe.
Just gotta make sure I don't drift the whole thing so my car has time to cool down. I do kind of want to re-bleed it though. Yeah, it's getting too hot. It's just not cooling down as fast as I want it to. towards the end but we threw it hard i was pumped on that one that must look so cool over there i'm so glad tommy's filming essentially that I had a kind of weird janky setup for my throttle cable because I think it must be like for a KA or something and it just wasn't the right length and my fix that I had before kind of pulled out so the whole throttle cable just got loose in there so we grabbed two little hose clamps from the trailer and put them on and like use a zip tie so it like can't really go anywhere now so that's our little janky fix of course it wouldn't be eventful if I hadn't lost my 240 keys we might be hot wiring it sad Unfortunately, the track is kind of in the middle of nowhere, so there's no real food places by us. So by the time we got back from our subway run, uh, track was cold and no more driving today. But, totally unrelated, look how baller it is. We got a full painted spare kit, except a spare bumper since I don't have an extra one. So uh, we're gonna get banged up on this track. It's pretty gnarly. The thing is, it's just so narrow that to like get good tandems in, you have to be like kind of almost dropping one wheel and the other person has to be dirt dropping. So it's just a recipe for losing your kit. Before we leave and head back to the hotel, I figure I'll walk through the pits real quick and make a little montage of all the cars here. Definitely a lot of cool and different stuff.
Aaron, how many V8 cars did you see here today? I saw two V8 cars here today that I can think of. Out of how many cars? Probably what, like 30, 40? Yeah. That's crazy, it's really cool. All the cars here are like no very Mustangs. simple and probably the opposite of the cars at your track, huh? Not that your cars aren't simple, but um, you got a lot of V8s. Our cars are more built up at our events. This is more like a style-based event type of thing and the track is very small and I don't think they like V8s here. Um, so yeah. I definitely want to park under the solar panel. Walmart is making moves out here. Great for the planet and the people. Maybe this putting- This useless at night. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They may be putting small businesses out of business, but at least they're helping the earth, right? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you tomorrow.